Hello everyone and welcome to another Zolo expert guide on a budget. This time we are going to play the Dwarven Riddle map and we are going to do the solo. I'm using a Bandit deck um, just because I want to showcase some of the more unused cards like Artillery or Fallen Angels, uh, Fall Fallen Sky Elves. Um, so you can do the map on with different combinations, but one one of the most important things is you have to to be able to defend your base against two demon waves on tier two. And for this, we are using time vortex because you can basically quadruple the damage if you reduce your void power to zero because then it shoots four times faster and basically quadruples the damage. Um, because we don't have any crowd control on tier 2, um, if you play nature you can use crowd control, then you need less damage, but we need pure damage. And since you need to clear out all the crystals and have to use flying units, we are using fallen sky elves. Um, use with unity and some blood healing, they are good enough to do the job also with Bloodthirst, for example. Um, <clears throat> you can also play this with one shadow, free fire, and then you use fire dragons. Fire, uh, some fire dragons um, to clear the crystals, and you use the Necro Fury um, for defense, because it can shoot from out Let's see, can it shoot at this guy? Yeah, it can. And let's try, oh, whatever. Let's try some nomads. If it can shoot at nomads, you can use it. Yeah, you can. So this guy acts as an artillery and you can even use those the, the, the amazing bone shot ability to deal tons of damage and you can play with nature with like one nature and then you use giant worms to clear the map and you use some healing wells to heal your necrofury so a lot of different opportunities and combinations you can do important thing is we start on the four because on the other side you have a bandit walker and then you need crowd control to get through it. But we are playing fire and we have no body, so no crowd, con crowd control for us. Sadly. On this side we only have a tortogon and we can just kite it around. Okay, we start with, use, uh, with summoning a nomad. And we wait a bit, we summon another one, and then we begin our journey to the north. I'm using Nomads with Nature Affinity because I need the healing. They are not here to deal damage. And we take the units, we drag them a bit to the right side, and then go around in a big loop. So they don't hit us, and the units don't get slowed. Then we summon our third one, and the healing begins. We have to do this stuff like three times. That was number one. Now we are grabbing our number two targets. Um, when this spearman crosses the sand, you can go around. Then you have enough room. As you can see, more than enough room. And now we are going to kite the Tortogun. It's a bit slow, so you have to wait. You drag it, this one to the right side, to the cliffs. And then when it joins about this stuff, you can go around. And I'm not really sure why those damn spearmen went behind me, but it's okay. If you lose one, just summon another one. 
as long you don't lose like two units, three units, you should have enough energy to clear this camp fast enough. We go to the top. Hopefully don't use any nomads. We did. That's okay. We summon a third one. So this is like, if you lose more than two, you should restart. Otherwise it's gonna be hard. Give them a few seconds to recharge. And then you summon some Sunstriders. And as you can see, I need three, four Sunstriders and don't have enough energy. Um, important is, put your Nomads up front. So they tank for your Sunstriders and they basically heal their damage. Get them back, don't let them be attacked. Now, when the first tower is gone, you attack the wall section between the power well and the tower with your nomads. And your Sunstriders kill the tower. After this, the Sunstriders help out with the wall section. From here on, we're gonna use some uh, micromanagement. We use our Sunstriders to attack this gate. If your Sunstriders get too near and get attacked by the crossbowmen, just put them, pull them back a bit and try attacking again until they don't get attacked. Our Nomads will intercept this bandit shaman and kill it. And then we're gonna use our um, nomads up here because we need the nomads to drag away the bandit lord. Yeah, it killed one, it's okay. It's best summon another one so they get healed and you, you run around a bit here. Um, don't forget to use your guys to attack this one otherwise it, if he if he runs back just attack him up front doesn't matter nuke this one it, it's faster and then we attack this one and now we, we run away from the bandit one bandit bandit lord and use the fire altar as soon as it's, as it's available so that everyone dies and now you attack the way station and build the wall at the same time. Summon a few Sunstriders, like four for the start, get them up to the wall and attack this mutating frenzy. Take the power wells, uh, kill your units, you need the energy for now. Focus fire the frenzies. So taking or losing parts of the wall is not a big deal as long as you don't your units. If the wall gets too damage, just put them on another section and then focus fire the second one. You need to kill the, those before uh, the XL unit starts um, attacking your wall because otherwise your units will take a lot of damage. <coughs> Just use the walls as uh, additional health pools. Okay, now you should pull your units back until they are on the same level. So they can all attack those uh, pesky ranged units. Um, okay, monument is built. Nice. We're gonna set up a furnace of flash on this point and our first tower um up here we need like six of those so we are going to defend the whole next wave this is not a wave this is just like from the first kill from the first use of this of the fire altar which you can by the way set up on a uh, hotkey Just let your units attack whatever they want. 
if those ward morphs get near enough, you can you should focus fire them. They deal a lot of damage. And then always check that your units get away fast enough before the wall section gets destroyed and you lose them. We don't care about the fur the next wave because we're just gonna defend it. We continue to build some time vortex. Now we don't need any sun striders, you can get rid of them. If you were smart like not like me, you would kill them near the furnace of flesh, but wasn't smart of me and It doesn't really matter, we have like 3 minutes to do this. So we have time. And I'm taking a sip of my tea. So now, <coughs> after we defend this wave, we are going to grab, uh, to go up here and grab this power well and grab this monument because we need the tier 3 to summon our soul hunter and our soul hunter will clear up this area and this is our tier 4 up here and we have some stone throwing dudes in the way we need to get rid of and he has an L counter so that's amazing and we will use like unholy power and life weaving and ravage um, to make sure he gets through, otherwise they will kill him. Okay, we will set up another furnace of flesh because they will also take like this section. Eh, maybe we don't need it. I think one is enough. We might might set this up here. Yeah, it should be enough. Okay. Now we wait. Um, because the enemies will spawn up here, they will spawn up here, so we, not, we can't go to this right now. Yeah. That's how it goes. Let's see. Um, after the wave spawns, the counter resets, and then about three minutes left on the counter, you can start your journey with your nomad. Grab this one, summon your soul hunter, run up, kill this, and grab the T4. It's important that you at least start building the T4 because then you, you will lose this one on the next wave. But then you have T3, and, and from here on, you go up to this one. And then you go to tier 4, set up your defense with artillery, then you use the fire altar again, and your artillery will just kill every elemental that gets near it. And then you have basically unlimited time to clear the map, because the waves don't get far enough to even start really scratching your towers. Okay, let's see. Also, if you're on tier 3 and you struggle with the wave, you can use crowd control like frenetic assault to redirect the damage from your towers to the other units. Or like if you play double fire, you can use inferno just to deal damage. Depends on the choice. Maybe you play nature, then you use like oink or roots. As you can see, your towers just make f short process. You should repair because those Ashbone Pirates deal some um, area of attack damage that gets through your walls.
if you think you're gonna lose a tower, so just use like a lava field. But normally it's not worth it. You can just repair your towers if needed. But it's fun to kill the Ashborn Pyros faster. And you get your energy back from this one. As you can see, they got through. Not a big deal. Even if you lose a tower too, you can just rebuild it. But normally you shouldn't lose it. Just focus for this bad guy that attacks the tower. And don't forget like me to repair your wall. <coughs> Kill the pyros because they heal from dealing get dealing damage to buildings. And this is basically three minutes as I, as I said. Now we summon our nomad and run up here. And as you can see we have more than enough energy. We will rebuild the furnace we lost. It's like really small loss and repair some of the towers. Um, now you have to care about some of the patrols because the units that run around here they have a paralyzing attack. So if they hit your unit, you get paralyzed. You run around, you grab this power well up here. Oh, we, we can't grab it. As you can see, I can't grab it because uh, of this unit. Now I grabbed it. Only this one because you will lose this, uh, this part of the base anyway. Now we summon, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. You will lose this before you can defend. All we do is just, we needed the power well so we can access the monument. And we need the monument for our tier 3 unit. Also you can basically run with your soul hunter up to this point on the south. And then you just kill every, every patrol that runs around. Also an uh, interesting pa um, fact about the map is, those um, patrols, um, they are randomized. And so that means every time you start the map, you don't know if you're gonna have like two units here or like seven. It's really random. So let's see how many we have to kill. And the most important part is starting your tier four. And being able on t be staying on tier three is also really good. As you can see, we have two, maybe more. Now we start killing them. We just use unholy power to speed up the process, and then he just two hits them. You can summon a unit to grab your um, orb and grab maybe a power well. Then you get back. And just make sure nothing else gets near her. But it seems like we have only two. Sometimes it's more. It's a, a, a bit of a fact, luck factor. But then you just kill them. And use your energy instead of the power well. On some of the buff spells. That's why we have life weaving. And unholy power and ravage. Just to make sure this guy. Won't die. And will do his job. Uh, also, don't run up here, because here will be enemy spawning. We won't kill him off right now, because if we do this, we get a ton of void power in our pool. And then our towers won't shoot fast enough. Now we go and attack our and take our T4. Don't run too near, otherwise you have like three artilleries staying up here. After you lose your T4 on this point, you you can rebuild this. As you can see, artillery is shooting. Yeah, this is it. We will kill it. Don't get your hopes up. Um, 
I made a bad decision. I lost my second Shadow Orb, so I don't have Frenetic Assault anymore. But it's okay, you don't really need it. If the wave gets too strong, you just use your Fire Ritual. But if you do this, the next elemental spawns will come from here. And we have to get ready up to this point. I will set up another furnace because I will need the energy. Um, and now you should use this because those are really hard to deal with. Okay. Now you not don't not don't need this guy. You take your nomad. Mm, yeah, you, you, you can wait. You have like three minutes. Okay. So now we are starting the transitioning. We are building artillery. We need like six. But as you can see, we only have four, and then we don't have charges. And this is why we have uh, we play cultists and offering, just to replenish our artillery charges. Because this replenishes the nature affinity of every card. As you can see, our artillery got replenished. Now we can get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. Also, I'm using the nature, uh, the shadow affinity because of the bomb um, exploding instantly and just dealing ton of damage instead of the bomb that deals like constant damage. And we offer, and then we have our last artillery gun set up. Okay, this is gonna be fine. Um, now, yeah, we just try to grab this one because you're gonna lose this map, um, this monument, and power wells. Other, unless you can defend it. I mean, it's possible it doesn't have that much a spawn, but it will use a lot of your resources to defend this. So it's basically not worth it. We're just gonna up here, and then we're gonna grab this power well. Mm, we're gonna use some of our sky, uh, sky elves. And clear up the patrols. Need to do something. Okay. Uh, run, run for your life. Run for your. Can you stop following me that far? Thanks. You can use one to increase its damage by 200% and then it just kill gets killed really fast. All attack, one uses ability and then you hide your nomad up here. Same right now, all attack one uses ability. If your ability gets interrupted or it gets too far away, you will it will get healed instantly. Yeah, but you have to wait until they are done running around here. Okay, now you'll see how those work. 
as you can see they throw some mines because the second ability tainted mine blow 12 meters like here and then just some units already exploded and now you just shoot again and then just everything dies basically um the first wave doesn't spawn from here just to make sure we're gonna grab this power well so now we need eight of our sky elves because we can only use unity on eight units now we're gonna start with the first crystal also you can now use double unity on your units to give them regen and damage reduction and we can use blood first and blood healing so we have a lot of but the most important part is using unity just fly up destroy this one and then look where the next one is and go up there as you can see they will get healed up Don't try to fight with the guys because they deal a lot of damage against your flying units. Um, the good part about the Sky Elves and not the Fire Dragons is they have a targeted attack. Um, that means you don't have to like kill all the buildings in be before it with your AoE. Nuke the stone, go away. But don't go away to your monument, otherwise you will have to kill the stone hurler. And as you can see, our we have something to repair. It, it, it took a scratch. They scratched my wall. And if you are not sure, you can just build like more artillery if you want to. Also, I forgot to grab this chest. I can do this right now. I'm gonna heal up my units. I will not be able to grab this one unless you play like Corsars, because then you can um, spawn some units here and then you can grab it. Now let's get rid of the fire crystal. We double unity is like more enough. You can use blood healing. If you have to fight between like two bases, you can use blood first to get more passive healing. But normally, that's a, this is enough, like having double unity. Also, we are a bit lucky, all the crystals are right beside the other. Um, our units are quite damaged. I will use double unity and I will use some um, blood first so they heal more damage and then if you deal damage they get healed. It's not a lot but it's more than enough. Oh I didn't kill it, no! 20 HP, okay, now I killed it. And then you get just back to your if needed. Uh, now we have to get rid of the D. So we have only four left. After this you have to kill like every of the guardians on this side and then on the other side. And then I would advise having more than like eight sky elves because you can't really target the uh, um, ranged crystal guardians and they are in a, in a giant stack of other crystal guardians. Um, make sure your units don't die on the way and they can deal their job, especially on this position. Okay, now get away. Yeah, I'm gonna lose some. 
I'm gonna lose like most of them <laughs> because I wasn't paying attention. And now you lose your monument and you lose this one, so I have to uh, regrab it. It's okay. Our base is like untakeable from the waves. And you can just use a nomad and go up here to, to get this back, but then you can s you see the enemy stack here because they tried to attack your wall, so you will never get this base back. But you can get this base back. And then you have like f 4 minutes left to do whatever you want with your tier 4. And meanwhile I'm gonna summon some of my sky elves I will rebuild. Um, I will use the soul hunters and then just offer them so I can rebuild my sky elves faster. Mm, was a bit early, okay. Let's try again. I mean I don't really need a T4. I mean I need it for unity. Now I have to wait. And yeah, using skiles is just like a gimmick because I just wanted to use them. They have a really low HP pool, so if you use like Corsairs you can just fly in, destroy this one with one big wave and then just fly out and still be alive because of the giant health pool. Now I'm summoning one more. I'm dropping this. I'm dropping a... And I also don't lose charges because I'm offering them back and now I have seven um, skiles and this is enough. Now I'm gonna grab my monument back while my sky elves try to finish the last three. Now yeah, let's make eight sky elves. And I need double na fire because I've, I need a unity. Without unity your sky elves are, will die too fast. But we can get them into position. We took like 30 minutes, maybe we need like maybe 5 minutes more. It would probably be less, un uh, but I lost my army and had to rebuild it. So how long does it take? Okay, it's ready. Also, it depends if you have to fight a lot of, uh, between bases, you have to fly around a lot and how many of the guardians are ranged. Because you don't have to clear out every camp. It's just like 8 out of 10 or out of 12. Okay, the next one is here. But we get to need to get out first. Uh, unity still holds. As you can see, we have like a triple camp here. And this is where you have to throw like everything on them. If we are lucky, we get the next one, uh, the yellow one. Yeah. I would say it's lucky. Oh, maybe it, it's 8 out of 8, but uh, it's, it's random in what order. My cat wants to get out. So the order is random. Okay, now get out. Um, don't forget your unity. Okay, we, we, we got ready. Now we have to go back. Um, there will be no more waves, but then all the guardians that were left will start attacking your base. And then we will, you will have to defend. You can like throw in a frenetic assault or some other kind of CC to stop them. Even if you lose like a artillery or two, it doesn't really matter at all. I, I think we don't even lose anything. But now those will attack us, so whatever. As you can see, I didn't even lose the furnace. Now, let's give us some more fallen sky elves. 
because we have some clearing to do. If you wanna grab some chests, I, I think there is a chest up here and maybe up here, but you have to clear out the guardians. Um, I'm not really, I don't really need this, but then I will. I'm just summoning three soul hunters. They are enough to to keep this space clear, and then we gonna grab. We not we have to fly to the other side and then kill everything. That's up here. Wait, wait for it, wait for it. Can we kill this one, please? Let's make sure those don't, don't die and kill everything else. Blood healing and unity is a cool combo because your unit doesn't die but just heals everything else. So it's a lot of healing and now I'm not sure. So here's no chest but I know here's a chest. So let's take the attack action here. So they kill everything in between them, between me and my chest, because I need the gold. You don't need to kill those, but make sure your units don't die a lot, because they deal like tons of damage. Some blood healing to make sure they survive. Yeah, 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 this is like, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. This is uh, so many, so much damage. No! Fuck. This was a bad spot. Don't do this. Don't be dumb like me. Don't be as dumb as I am. Now I have to kind of replenish my flying army. This happens if you try to do like dumb stuff like me. Now just delayed it for like five minutes. But as you can see, those blue guardians did like a trillion of damage. And this is why you should use T4 flying units to clear the map because I was at T4 at the, the time I started clearing. So many guardians. Here's my chest. I knew it. And an offering. And a fourth time. Can you grab the damn chest, please? Thanks. Now you can die. You can also do some dumb stuff uh, with rifle cultists. Like clearing out the camps. Just make sure the artillery doesn't kill you. Yeah, I know the power is under attack because it was the artillery. I have to kind of do something until I have enough units left. I need like two more. get this away. Uh, let's 
fine. We can kill this now. Okay. So I should should be ready to start again. And this time without doing dumb stuff. You could basically already end the video, but you can also be here with me. Just to see how hard it will be. You might have to do uh, some split pulling. So the safest path is up in the north. Don't fly through the south, through all those blue guardians that were stacked a lot. Fly up the north, where nothing really stops you. Maybe a bit. Because you have like melee guardians on this side. And you need to kill the ones that stack up here and the ones at the base. You need to kill yeah, those. They try to get out, I think. If you use the abilities, you can kill them really fast. Okay, now we have to really be careful. I will already be summoning more because you have like this giant army. You need to take care of. Get back and heal up. I need a lot more. Where's my sky elf? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Yeah. So do yourself a, a favor and take some T4 flying units with you. Otherwise, this is going to be a long, long replay. So I will basically stop right here. I will do one more attack, but this is like... This might take hours. Because it's not about the damage, it's about... You lose so many, so many units. Let's use blood healing to heal everyone else. Also, blood healing kills your unit, so you should take care of it. Why do you take damage? The other one was like alone and didn't take any damage. So let's try to split pull. Closer, closer, okay, and all of them run up. Okay, th this is how it works. Now I have a split pull, and now I can drop some. So I have like to kill like four of them and not like 20. And then we split pull again. When all of them turn back, we start attacking. Okay, now we can clear this up. This is how you split pull, by the way. You drag them and wait until the guys start turning back. And then you 
after half of them turned back you attack them I mean we do I don't have to do this right now because they are not enough now we have to give them some time doing stuff I'm gonna summon some more just to be sure we, if we need more then I'm gonna by the way I could also just use this power well as you can see it will deal enough damage that they have an L counter so like all the units are getting more damaged and they even have some splash damage so it's good because they are all stacked let's see if this works go up here give them some healing so they don't die yeah okay so you, you can't take this and protect this un unless you kill like the artillery okay now we have to take care of this one oh boy oh boy oh boy, oh boy. this is gonna hurt so try to split pull them Part your units here so not every one of them attacks I said not everyone attacks guys what are you doing okay this is how it works if you get too much too much damage just pull back but it should work out yeah gonna lose some units it's okay I lost like three no I lost four units but that was enough True. That's how it goes. So I I think I told you the advice like five times. Take T4 flying units. And this is how you do the map solo without any without like big stress. And if you enjoyed it, give me a like. Don't do dumb stuff. And see you next time. Bye bye.